Hi, I'm Colleen Cheslack from the Civil War Trust and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the role of my old Kentucky home in the Civil War. During the war, Kentucky was this unique border state that was geographically sandwiched in conflict. Abraham Lincoln once said, I think to lose Kentucky is nearly the same as to lose the whole game. From the get-go, Kentucky was torn between Union and Confederate sentiments, but Governor McGoffin and the state legislature officially declared neutrality in 1861, opposing the use of the state as a battlefield. However, with its split ideology and decisive location, it was difficult for Kentucky to adhere to this policy of neutrality. Confederates led by General Gideon Pillow seized Columbus, Kentucky on the Mississippi River in the fall of 1861 on the belief that they need to take these strategic riverways in Kentucky before the Union Army did so. Now the Union countered this move by then taking Paducah, Kentucky. With such actions, Kentucky's government was then prompted to break its declaration of neutrality and officially join the Union. However, this relationship with the Union was far from perfect. While Kentucky's state government in the capital of Frankfurt stuck with the Union for the entirety of the war, there were many groups that resisted. A shadow Confederate government even formed, leading Kentucky to have a start in both the Union and Confederate flags. The Bluegrass State had about 40,000 fighting for the Confederacy and 100,000 fighting for the Union. You could find these Kentuckians fighting primarily in the Western Theater at places like Shiloh, Chickamauga, Fort Donelson in the Atlanta Campaign, and in Sherman's March to the Sea. Many times these Kentuckians would be fighting brother against brother. Contrary to Governor McGoffin's wishes, the war came to Kentucky at places like Camp Wildcat, Munfordville, Perryville, and Richmond, all of which are places that the Civil War Trust has helped to save land. Of Kentucky's most significant contributions were its rich agricultural offerings, but previously mentioned those riverways. With Kentucky and Union hands, men and supplies could easily be moved up and down the Mississippi, Ohio, Tennessee, and Cumberland rivers. A few notable Kentuckians during the Civil War include the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, and his wife Mary Todd Lincoln. Also, there was President of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis. To truly illustrate the divisions within Kentucky, you can look to statesman John J. Crittenden, who had a son that was a general for the Confederacy, but another son that was a general for the Union. There are so many stories to come out of Kentucky, so go check it out for yourself. Get out onto the battlefields at Richmond or Perryville and discover your own Kentucky story.